This is seven national news and in our top story. The UA Vice President, Prime Minister and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, joined Abu Dhabi's Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UA Armed Forces, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, at Mushrif Palace on Tuesday. The ruler of Dubai and Abu Dhabi Crown Prince welcomed their Highnesses, rulers of the Emirates, on the occasion of Eid al Fitr. His Highness Dr. Sheikh Sultan bin Mohammed Al Kazmi of Sharjah. His Highness Sheikh Humaid bin Rashid Al Nuaymi of Ajman. His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed Al Sharki of Fajera. His Highness Sheikh Saud bin Rashid Al Mawala of Amal Quain. And His Highness Sheikh Saud bin Saka Al Kazmi of Ras Al Khaima. The ruler of Dubai and Abu Dhabi Crown Prince also welcomed and exchanged Eid greetings with Crown Princes and Deputy Rulers of the Emirates. Also present were His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Crown Prince of Dubai. His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the ruler's representative in the Western region. His Excellency Mohammed Ahmed Al Mur, the Speaker of the Federal National Council. And His Highness Sheikh Haza bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the National Security Advisor. Emirati and international doctors have treated three million children, elderly people, and conducted over 8,000 heart surgeries. That's through the Zayed Giving Initiative. Emirati heart surgeon Dr. Adel Al Shamari, the CEO of the Zayed Giving Initiative, said that the doctors have demonstrated a unique humanitarian model and voluntary medical fieldwork adding that hundreds of multinational doctors joined the global voluntary medical team to treat poor patients. He noted that the Zayed Giving Initiative provides medical treatment to patients in need worldwide, in the memory of the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, and in extension to the voluntary and humanitarian culture outlined by Sheikh Zayed. And the UAE's Human Appeal International provided 1 million dirhams in aid to more than 2,000 poor families in the Palestinian territories during the holy month of Ramadan. The aid included 1,000 tonnes of rice and hundreds of food packages, iftar meals and banquets, children's clothes and other aid for families in Palestinian villages and refugee camps near Ramallah in the West Bank. Ibrahim Rashid, the director of HAI's office in the West Bank, said that the project was a part of their four million US dollar humanitarian initiative launched in Ramadan and will run through until Eid al Atta to assist four million Palestinians. The agency also sponsors 1,200 orphans, 80 families, and 19 people with special needs. Abu Dhabi police received 1.75 million emergency calls over the last six months. The figures show reports of 514,236 incidents. 185,341 were for criminal activity and 171,328 were for traffic violations. Lieutenant Colonel Nasser Suleiman Al Maskari, the director of the Abu Dhabi Police Operations Department, was quoted as saying that subsequent surveys have found that 98.88% of people were satisfied with the response of police in the last three months, compared to 97.4% in the first three months of the year. He added that the Operation Room's Excellence Laboratory organized 82 workshops in the last six months which were attended by 735 participants from the department in order to enhance time management and excellence in the workplace. Around 18,000 people have qualified for the Your Child in Gold weight loss contest out of 28,000 who registered. The initiative follows last year's Your Weight in Gold competition and, re and registration ended on July the 24th. This year sees parents register their children to help combat early obesity and raise awareness on the disease. Families will receive two grams of gold for every kilo lost, double the reward for individual participants. Officials expect one third of those who registered in person to potentially win, 
provided that they drop a minimum of two kilos. More than 9,600 people registered in 2013 and gold worth 2.8 million dirhams was awarded. His Excellency Hussein Nasser Luta, the municipality's director general, was quoted as saying that a total of 468 children below 14 have qualified to take part in the contest, one of the largest weight loss competitions ever in the world. He added that it is a great achievement in the history of Dubai towards being one of the healthiest cities in the world. The Dubai Public Library is giving children across Dubai the opportunity to nurture their social and personal skills through its annual summer programme, held under the theme, Our Summer is Arts and Culture. The programme focuses on communication skills, managing finances, robotic technology and arts and crafts. Open to children between the ages of 6 and 12, from Sunday to Thursday, 4.30 to 7.30 p.m., the Our Summer is Arts and Culture programme will be held from the 3rd to the 28th of August in Al Twa Public Library, Al Mankul, Hatta, Al Rashadir and Al Safa Public Libraries. Through robotics, children with an interest in science and technology can gain insights into advanced technology with hands-on activities that promote basic design skills and teamwork. The Financial Skills Programme teaches children the value of money through games, simulations and workshops, while the universal concept of mental arithmetic system, also known as USMAS, will host state-of-the-art sessions, ensuring that learning needs are accelerated and sharpened in mental mathematics skills. The Dino Art Programme will also help develop children's creative expressions through visualisation, concept formation, sense of imagination and abstract thinking. And finally, looking to other news now, the second phase of the mega summer promotion Eid in Dubai, organised by Dubai Festivals and Retail Establishment and Dubai Shopping Malls Group, finally drew to a close after weeks of great excitement and entertainment for families and children from July the 15th to the 30th. The winners of the final Eid draws have been a mix of nationalities, which saw over 50 people winning cash prizes and prizes worth 4 million dirhams. Organisers state that the first two legs of the campaign have posted an impressive increase in sales and footfall, and they expect the momentum to continue. The mega promotion is now set to enter an even more exciting final stage, running through Dubai Summer Surprises, which is set to start on August the 2nd. Consumers stand the chance to win six BMW luxury cars, and raffle draws will be held each week, with one person winning a luxury car every Saturday from August the 9th to September the 6th. The final week's draw will see one additional winner walking away with the mega bumper prize of this year's promotion, a BMW X5. The prizes are really big. They have the vacation packages. Uh, soon in the coming raffle, which is going to be over the next three days, there, there are going to be one winner for 500,000 each day and um, 25,000 25, in gift vouchers. And the, then there's the Eid campaign where we're going to have um, the DSS uh, is going to have the Dubai Summer Surprises in which uh, we're planning to have the uh, luxury cars of BMW. And overall the DSMG uh, promotions have helped all the tenants um, with their sales. There's been about 25 to 30 percent of increase in the footfall, uh, which is uh, quite a bit of an amount considering it's a community mall. And uh, shopping has been great here. Within the mall itself, we have a lot of uh, in-house promotions going on with all the tenants. So that has also helped uh, increase the footfall. Overall, DSMG has been, it's been a lot of fun for all our customers to be a part of this campaign. And it's been fun for us to be also part of this campaign.